Hello, welcome back to the next episode of Sonic Frontiers Modding. Today we are delving a little deeper into textures. You will learn how to edit stream textures, and how different texture maps work such as Normal, PRM and Albedo. Also, if you are new to Sonic Frontiers modding, this tutorial will use some simple concepts not covered in this tutorial, such as extracting .pack files and using paint.net. If you don't know how to do this, check out episode 1 and 3 for the relevant information. Without further delay, let's get started. First, I'm going to edit stream textures. If you don't know what they are, it's when textures are stored in a different place to where the .dds file is, usually in the texture streaming folder. To edit these, first we need to restore the images to the .dds files. You will need a tool called Needle Texture Streaming Package. Go to the link in the comments, which will take you to a GitHub page. Just press download as you see here and wait for it to download. Once it's downloaded, move it to wherever you keep your mod tools. Currently, the tool doesn't know where textures are streamed from. To fix this, right-click in the folder which Needle Texture Streaming Package is in. Go to New, then Text Document. Name this Needle underscore Texture underscore Streaming underscore Path with all lower case. Now, open it in your text editing program of choice. I'm using Visual Studio Code, but this is by no means necessary. Now, open your Sonic Frontiers folder, which you can get to by opening a mod folder and clicking back to Sonic Frontiers in the file path bar. Go to Image, X64, Raw, then Texture Streaming. Copy the file path and paste it into the text document you created. Now, just save. Now onto the actual modding. I already have a mod created and I'll just open it up here. Open the RAW folder. Stream textures are most commonly used for mini bosses and open zone textures. You can tell if a texture is streamed by looking at the file size. If it is 1 kilobyte or less, then it is streamed. I'm going to modify the Spider Guardian's texture so that it is gold. Go back to your Sonic Frontiers folder, then go to Image, X64, Raw, Miniboss. Create a Miniboss folder in the Raw folder in your mod. Copy Spider Common dot pack and Spider 01 dot pack from the game files into your mod. Next, unpack both files. The textures I need to edit are distributed between both files. First, go into Spider Common. Click on the drop down next to type, select paint.net image or DDS. Depending on if you have paint.net set as the default for DDS files, then drag MBO Spider 01 Body ABD into Needle Texture Streaming Package. Now we can open it in paint.net. To make the texture gold, just go up to Adjustments, then Hue Slash Saturation. Drag the slider until the red in the texture turns a nice gold color. Press OK. Go to File, Save, then check that the compression is set to BC7. Click OK. Now we go back up to the Miniboss folder and into Spider 01. Repeat the same steps with MBO Spider 01 Arm ABD and MBO Spider 01 LV ABD. Drag them into Needle Texture Streaming Package, open them in Paint.net, adjust the hue and save. Finally, just repack Spider 01 and Spider Common. We are ready for the first test. Now we are in game, you can see that the spider is yellow. But this isn't right, it's supposed to be gold. To make it more shiny, we will need to know how to use texture maps. Sonic Frontiers uses what are called texture maps to enhance textures in game. There are three maps that are used for the majority of textures, which are Albedo, also known as Diffuse, there are Normal Maps, and there are PRM Maps. Diffuse Maps are just the base color of the texture, with nothing extra. 
This can look fine by itself, but we can do better. Normal maps act like an extra layer on top of the texture, which determines how light reflects off of it. You can see this already makes it look better. PRM maps are slightly more complex, in that they contain four different properties, which are Specular, which makes the texture more or less mirror-like, smoothness, which makes the texture more or less reflective, metallic, which speaks for itself, and ambient occlusion, which is complex so I'll not be going over that. Each of these also acts as a layer on top of the texture. The PRM image is made up of four color channels, which each correspond to a property. Specular is the red channel, smoothness is green, metallic is blue, and ambient occlusion is transparency, also known as alpha. It's tricky to get your head around, but I might make a tutorial in future about how to make these since the process is rather complex. And until then, you can get specular, smoothness, metallic, ambient occlusion maps online and combine them in your photo editing software of choice. You can look up how to compose color channels in your photo editing software or you can just download the maps I used in the comments. Now, to replace the textures I've got the PRM and normal maps here. Just copy the PRM and normal maps for MBO Spider 01 body ABD into Spider Common. And copy the rest of the PRM and normal maps into Spider 01. Now just repack the files and test your mod. As you can see, the spider is now shinier and more metallic, which means we are successful. That's the end of this episode, I've been looking into custom character models for a possible future episode, so you can look forward to that. But for now, thanks for watching.